Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Becky. And I'm Chloe. So look, we are filming a video together in person. Wow. It's been so long. Yeah. It's also been so long since we filmed and explained a fandom. So we have a series called Explain a Fandom You Don't Know, in which we will try and guess what a series is about based off of photos of the characters. So this time, Chloe is going to be explaining the book series Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Um, and I feel like the past like year and a half has just been me falling deeper and deeper into Sarah J. Moss' hell. <laughs> like She has been a chokehold, and I love all of her books. Um, so the most recent one that I just read was the Throne of Glass series. So. Um, and I am planning to choose it for our book club later in this year or maybe next year. So I wanted to have Chloe see if she can explain what she thinks those characters are about and, you know, what she may or may not know about this series. So are we ready? Back, back to books. Yeah, yep. back to books. Okay. All right, so let's start with just the series as a whole. What do you think the series is about? So my friend read this a few years ago and was telling me about it. So let's see what I can remember from from that. So there's some girl, she's training to be an assassin. And then I I see the first book is called The Assassin's Blade. So I don't know if that's just the first book and then she's moving on to do other stuff. Cause I know later on there's some kind of like political drama and there's some like kingdoms and I don't know what she's doing, but there's some girl with white hair and a cape. I'm guessing that's the main character don't know anyone's name um so she was trying to be an assassin and then it turns out she's some like secret uh, fairy princess or something like that the, some secret magic powers or something so i don't know what she's doing with that and then um the only other thing i know is that from becky's ship there's some ship that does not happen <laughs> that's uh, I think that's all I got. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. So we have a we have a blonde girl. So is this the main character, or is the white haired girl the main character? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why she has white hair on the covers. Oh, like I truly do not know. Because I was gonna say the person on the cover has white yeah, hair, this but this script. girl has blonde hair. So all right, if we're assuming it's the same girl. This is the main girl. All right, so let's try and judge what she's doing from this photo. She's grabbing her hair. So I don't know. That's, that's a bit strange, but that's not on her. That's on the artist. <laughs> um, you know, she's got her, I guess, assassin blade. I guess she's an assassin. Did she graduate from assassin school? I don't know. We're going to assume that, you know, she did. Um, she's got a lot of belts going on. Very Fire Emblem-esque uh, outfit. So, um, hmm. I mean, she looks kind of serious, I suppose. Um, you know, I guess she's gonna go kill people, so I guess you gotta be serious if, if you're doing that. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, don't really know what she's doing. She's got some kind of necklace going on. You want to assume that if there's art and they have jewelry in their art, that it's something meaningful, but maybe not. Maybe it's just... <laughs> accessorizing <laughs> um but you know maybe maybe it means something to her yeah i don't know she's probably hardcore going to fuck people up uh i don't know why um don't know you know what her goals are in mm -hmm. life but uh you know if she is some kind of secret fairy lady maybe she was like you know doesn't know who her family is if she didn't know that was her backstory so maybe she's an orphan maybe uh I don't know. That's all I got, really. <laughs> I could keep. I can keep speculating, I or know. I can just move on. You can move on, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so this is a man. You know, he also looks pretty hardcore. He's got a sword. Is this like a cape? I I want to just be like, is this Becky's ship? I don't know because if it's order of appearance, I think that was earlier on. Um, so this could be that guy, which I think he's like instructing her in fighting if it is that guy. Uh, if not, some other assassin man, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming the assassin people are gonna be at the front, but I guess I don't know. Oh, this is a royal looking dude. Uh, maybe, this is a crown, right? Some some royal looking uh, guy, prince or king, question mark. 
He's got some glowing stuff, so, you know, perhaps he has magic? I don't know what's going on in this, like, if there's magic. Or I guess there's some kind of fairy magic or fairy people. I, I don't know. Um, so he's got yeah, some kind of magic sparkles going on. So magical king man. I mean, he looks like a human. I guess I'll assume human until proven otherwise. <laughs> Are you going to say, like, the personalities oh, of these people? Um, like... Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he seems happy, I guess. He's shaking someone's hand, I think. This is a different person. Well, I cut off the other half So, of that. you know, he's... Uh, he's either like, yeah, I'm making good relationships and helping my kingdom, or he's like about to punch them with this magical energy. Like, uh, you know, devious energy. I don't know. Could could go either way. He he just looks like a, like a guy. I don't know. <laughs> Just a guy. Just a guy. <laughs> He's man-spreading. He's confident. Okay. <laughs> okay, lady. Pretty looking outfit. I want to say like a priest or something kind of outfit. Or maybe just like a magic person. Magic user. She was, I, I just feel like every person like, yeah, they look serious. Yeah, they look serious. <laughs> yeah, they look serious. Well, this is a very serious so, look, I guess. So she looks like a, you know, very studious. She's trying to learn, because there's like some runes on here. So I'm guessing this is a magic book. Some kind of magic user, priestess. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but maybe they need to fight something. They need to figure out some spell to do that. And, and uh, she's going to do it. <laughs> kind of emo looking lady or maybe like evil witch lady possibly she's either like the depressed one or she's like an evil witch those are the vibes i don't really want to be here but i'll help or she's like i'm gonna fuck you up I don't, those are very different but um, <laughs> it could go either way so i would also say some kind of magic -y person just because like these vibes are very like wizardy witchy um another royal person he looks like more of a douche than the other guy though so, also king slash prince question mark. Seems like an older man. Maybe he's the king. I don't know. Um, the, the previous guy that I was like, I don't know what his personality is. He looked friendlier than this dude. So I'll say the previous guy, he's the nice one. And then this guy is the mean one. I don't know if he's evil or if he's just like a dick. <laughs> hard, hard to say. But yeah, he looks not, not very nice. Like, you know, maybe you're trying to do something and the king is like, no. I don't want you to do that. It's like, okay, dude. <laughs> He's got some kind of broken... Is this is this the throne of glass? <laughs> it, it, just, <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Do you well, think it is? <laughs> well. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps. Okay, so, okay, what if? <laughs> Title of the series. Is the series or is the first one? Well, it's the first one and it's the whole series. All right. Throne of glass. This dude has- he's some kind of king, he's on some kind of throne, could be glass. Main character, some kind of secret princess girl. So maybe she needs to take over the kingdom. From this guy, that's bad. Gotta get rid of the- the fake king and put the real queen <laughs> on the throne. Like, okay. um, Aragorn or something, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> return to the true, uh, <laughs> mm. the true bloodline. Mm. Just, you know, just spitballing. <laughs> oh, and there's freaking Galadriel. <laughs> so actually, this is just Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, Galadriel's here. <laughs> Maybe she's helping. Uh, I'm trying to look at, like, their clothes. She looks pretty different than this guy. Because she also has, like, a necklace thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say she is... Oh, she's an elf thing. She has elf ears. She's some kind of, some kind of nice fairy lady. I, I want to say she's helping. She's good. Personality, serious. <laughs> oh, everyone. oh my god, and we have evil, um, what's... <laughs> Legolas's father? <laughs> Thranduil. Thr Thranduil. <laughs> evil Thranduil. 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 <laughs> Thranduil. <laughs> can't. <laughs> evil elf. Man, he's not even an elf. Is he? I can't tell. He looks evil. He's bad. He's killing someone. Evil, he's got a deer. Mm. Deer imagery. Is that why he has mm. like weird little horns? Mm. Is it deer related? Yeah, I, bad. <laughs> okay, this is also some kind of elf man. 
Uh, oh, he looks so like... Like, if he didn't have the elf ears, I would be like, this is just like a man from like the modern day with his like short hair. He's just like chiseled, like <laughs> Hollywood actor man. <laughs> like, but he's some kind of elf thing and has some kind of like tattoo or something going on. So, um, probably some kind of love interest. I don't know if this is main character's love interest or someone else's love interest, but he's banging someone. <laughs> Like, this is just a, like, extreme, like, look, this is a handsome man with elf ears, so he has to be banging someone. Uh, like, he's oh he's buff and chiseled and, like, has a broody expression. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's brooding. Maybe he's helping the good people. But he doesn't really look evil, so I'm gonna say helping good people, maybe love interest of some kind. So is this a different character than the first character? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, if we didn't start with the other one, I'd be like, that's the main character. Mm. Like, that's who looks like is on the front mm. of the books and has the cape. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that's the main character. Mm. Uh, but apparently is not the main character. So I guess there's just some other white-haired lady that's here and has a dragon. So, yeah, she's got some kind of claw-looking things. I don't know if this is, like, actually part of her. Um, so yeah, she's kind of, like, supernatural-looking. I don't see her elf ears, so I don't know if she's a fairy or not. Um, you're telling me the main character doesn't, like, transform into this character? Like, when she gets her fairy powers and it's, like, um... actually the same character? <laughs> like... I mean, I guess you could... <laughs> guess that that happens, but I cannot confirm or deny. Uh, she looks supernatural and intense. I don't know. She has white hair. This previous dude also has white hair. So maybe there's just like white-haired fairy people. Maybe they're maybe they're related to Gladriel. I don't know. Well, there's another uh, blonde-haired lady with a dragon. So I guess there's I guess there's dragons. I don't know what they're doing with them. Maybe they ride them around in battle or something. Uh, so, another blonde lady. This is like fan art, I guess, so I can't really tell if she's like actually older looking than this one, but maybe she's like the mentor character. Like she's, uh, you know, in charge of the dragons and dragon people. <laughs> I need to just not look at Becky because <laughs> she's just gonna be like, the heck are you saying? <laughs> Alright, there's another like pretty lady with wolves. Can't tell if she has elf ears, but this is a very elf-looking uh, imagery here. Like she's on her throne with not not glass. The not this is not the throne of glass. This is like ivy and stone. So I feel like she's with the fairy people. Yeah. So some kind of fancy fairy lady. Also looks uh you know serious. Could be evil. I guess could be with evil. Legolas's father. Um, or maybe she's just chilling in the woods. Maybe she's like, you know, you need to go get her advice. It's like the <laughs> Artemis Fowl lady. Like, it could be evil or could be someone you get help from. Uh, Those are the options, <laughs> I guess. Uh, is this a man? I guess this is a man. Maybe. <laughs> Should I answer you? <laughs> um, this is the Bishonen man. <laughs> Like, the previous guy that I was like, this has to be a love interest. He was like the chiseled, like, Hollywood heartthrob man. This is the the pretty boy <laughs> here. This is like young Brad Pitt. Like, young, young Brad Pitt. Um, so, could possibly be other love interest if we've got, you know, different men going on. Or maybe someone else's love interest. He looks like in some kind of knight outfit. Um, and he's got a bloody sword, so he's killing someone. Is he the king killer, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> he's killing someone. It looks knight-ish, so, um, you know, doing something with those royal-looking human people. I don't know if he's good or bad. Like, he could be bad, or he could be, like, you know, Jamie Lannister. Like, kills the bad king. Energy? Maybe. <laughs> 
And he just looks, he looks kind of zoned out. I don't know. I don't know anyone's personality. Everyone is just serious. That's all, give that's them all personality. I got. I have to give them personality? I don't know. Tell me what his personality is. He looks like he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> like, he, he looks like, yeah, I will uh, be a guard or whatever he's doing. Kill someone. Well, kill people if he has to, but he doesn't relish it. Mm -hmm. This is like a normal looking woman. Oh, she's some kind of doctor. Because she's got a patient there, I think. And like herbs. Mm -hmm. She's a, yeah, some kind of healer lady. Um, she looks chill. Like, she doesn't have any excess, like, fanciness going on. She's just doctor lady here chilling to help people support her. Oh god, this is like Bishi Snape over here. <laughs> what is going on with this? This is oh my goodness. Okay. Could be bad. He's he's got like an open shirt. This is Alright, we're ranking the love interests, right? Well, I don't know if they're love interests. We're ranking the men, okay? <laughs> so we have Chiseled Brooding Man. We have Pretty Boy, Jamie Lannister. And then we have um like possibly evil question mark uh slutty guy uh <laughs> you know definitely like dark vibes like you know could be antagonistic shirt is open titties out <laughs> very tight fitting black outfit so My head is just empty. Like, I'm like trying to get something, and I'm just like, oh my God. it's just a hot man. Like, <laughs> whose like, side is he on? Who's I don't, he with? I don't know. Who's he hanging out I with? I feel like he is with, um, hmm. I was gonna say the elf people, but he's got a blade. I feel like he's also like some kind of assassin person, but I don't, I don't know why I don't know why they need so many assassins for. I guess all the maybe all the kings are just assassinating each other or something. I feel like he is not helping the main character. I feel like he's some kind of, you know, antagonistic or like some like someone that you have to fight, and maybe becomes a homie later, but like definitely doesn't start off as good. I'm moving on. There's another pretty man. This looks like a pretty elf man. He's also got some kind of tattoos going on. Um, he also looks uh, serious and brooding, as well. so does everyone else. <laughs> um, he he also doesn't. He's just wearing like a shirt. Like he doesn't have any fancy like armor or weaponry or like jewelry or like no accoutrements. So maybe like of the elf people, he's just like a, a regular man. And he's not, like, fighting? <laughs> um, so, uh... <laughs> Who's he associated with? Um, he said the elf he's people. with the elf people. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he is with Galadriel. Because he's also oh. blonde, so they're related. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> And there, okay, there's another blonde elf man, but this is like a barbarian looking man. <laughs> like, I... like, he's got a wolf. So he must be with the wolf lady. Because mm. there was a lady that had wolves and he's got a wolf. So mm. he's her homie. Mm. Um, he looks like a, a barbarian, like Viking kind of like vibe. I don't know. Like if this was like, like gladiator-ish looking guy. So he's fighting someone. He's associated with the wolf lady. Maybe he's some kind of like guard person. I don't know. Cause he has like a sword. So I feel like the people that have like the little daggers, I feel like those are the assassin people. And I feel like if you have a sword, you're like an actual like soldier, mm -hmm. maybe. So he's fighting for the, the wolf woman. Maybe she's the queen of the, the fairies or something. Are they elves or fairies? I, I don't even know. Some whoever. Oh, and we've got a cat lady. Okay. Um, some kind of snow leopard morgue girl, I guess. Um, I'm out. <laughs> what do you even say about that? Um, I mean, I guess if you're like a shapeshifter, you're magical. So she's probably on the side of the elf people. 
Um, so maybe the elf people are just trying to get rid of the humans? I don't know. It's Lord of the Rings now? I don't know. Is that what the elf people <laughs> well, are Lord of the Rings no, are doing? But they're like... Oh, I guess it's the opposite, right? It's like, okay, it's the humans' time to live. We're gonna leave. Mm -hmm. That's Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this one is the opposite. They want to get rid of the humans. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is some archer lady. Looks like a human. Possibly with other people. So some some kind of homie that's helping people fight. I, I wanna I wanna believe she's good, because she looks cool. But I don't know what kind of storyline I've made up in my head. So let me think about this. <laughs> so main character is like elf queen, so they need to get rid of the human king. So maybe there are humans that also don't like the human king. So, she could be a good homie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, another girl. Uh, she looks pretty normal. You know how there was like that blonde man? I was like, he just looks like a citizen of the fairies. Mm -hmm. She just looks like a citizen of the humans. Okay. Like she doesn't have like armor or weapons or anything. Like she's just chilling. Just you know, some kind of townsfolk, I guess, that they become friends with. And here's another, like, sexy-looking, open-shirted man. Mm. Um, you know, could be romance cover <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, he looks he looks a little less broody. Like, he looks like he could be a little flirtatious. He has, like, a slight light in his eyes compared to the other people. <laughs> Why all the so, fan art is just so serious. It is. It is. <laughs> Um, so he- maybe he is, like, a slightly more playful a personality. He also looks like a hoe, because he's got his shirt open. And he also looks like a human. So, one of the human people, but he's flirting with everyone. Everyone? Yeah, everyone. <laughs> Alright, some girl that has armor, so she's fighting someone. She has a red cape, and I know other people have a red cape. So, maybe they're all on the same side. Which is, I guess, the main character's side. Even though I'm still confused about the main character and that other character and who's who. So maybe the main character doesn't have a cape, actually. But I thought she did, so she's with the other cape person. Okay. <laughs> okay, some other angelic-looking person. Doing some kind of magic. Some kind of healing magic, perhaps. Uh, channeling the spirits or something. She's got some kind of amulet. She's, like, in heaven. Maybe she's an angel. I don't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, some, calling some kind of spirits to to help them do magic or something. And there's a, there's another uh, chiseled man. Uh, yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> I guess so. He's got some kind of weapon. So he's he's fighting someone. He looks like he's in the woods. So I feel like he's gonna be associated with the elf people and the animal people. Um, I'm just- they're- they're just all together now, I guess. There's- there's elf people and there's animal people and there's like the wolf lady who may or may not be an elf, I don't know. He's- he's with them. He's in the woods. Um, this is so much. And here's a, another open-shirted man with a whip. He doesn't look good. He looks devious. Uh, he's- he's an elf fairy person. But he- like, he looks like he just wants to fuck people up. Like, he looks really... I don't know. Hardcore. Like, he's just here to mess you up. Like, for some reason in my head, I'm like, yeah, like a Shu Yang vibes. <laughs> like, just just killing people. Just out like, here. just out here. Like, he doesn't care about the war. He's just, like, <laughs> here to do violence. <laughs> That's the vibe. And this is like a bashful looking man. Oh my god, he has a personality. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> he looks like kind of happy or like friendly um this is also kind of like an assassin looking outfit so maybe he was like part of the assassin people so possibly main character's homie but he uh yeah he looks like nice and like yeah i'm i'm gonna help friendly vibes Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. He must not be important if he's at the end, but... Mm -hmm. Why do you think he's at the end? <laughs> well, you know, I guess I'm just assuming it's like order of appearance, so... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing if you're not introduced until that much later, maybe you're not as main of a character, but I don't know. 
probably did uh, bad. Well, uh, let me count up it's my points. It's very um, hard to tell what they're doing. <laughs> I feel like my head was so empty. Like, I couldn't even come up with a fake story. I was just like, elf people? A lot of it was pretty correct. Like, there was a lot that was correct. Um, let me do some calculating here for a moment. I bet um, the parts that were correct were hot man and animal lady. <laughs> and this person is an elf. I bet that was the correct part. 73. Oh, that's kind of good. So, yeah, I guess I would say like 7 out of 10. A lot of them I was just like, okay, <laughs> sure. Um, and some I was like half, and then some I was like, yeah. I wrote yes. I mean, the, the, here's the thing. And some I wrote no. I can't really judge their personality because yeah. they're not doing anything. Well, like yeah. all of these men, right. they're just like looking handsomely at the camera. Well, like, yeah. What, how am I supposed to know what he's doing? <laughs> so for them, I was kind of judging it based off who you said they were associated with. Uh huh. And some of them were right and some of them weren't. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, seven out of ten is pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. So. Apparently I can tell what's so, uh, going on, yeah. kind of. There we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can tell me if you agree that Seven is a good score or not. Did she do better? Did she do worse? What are your thoughts? Should I make her do A Court of Thorns and Roses next? Let me know if that's, you want to see it. <laughs> that's what I thought we were doing. So I was getting prepared in my mind. Like, okay, what do I know about this series? And no. like, oh, we're doing the other one. I was like, god damn it. No, next time. Let's tune in next time for that one. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and check out our other Explain to Fandom videos and we will see you next time. Bye. I really thought this was the main character. Okay, I really don't know why she has white hair on the covers. Like, they're not the same person. Is this still- oh, is this, is this not- No, that's, that's- the other character? No, that's the main character. I don't know why she has a red cape but in that photo. This is red! I don't know why- is it? <laughs>